many years ago. I remember vividly in my university days. I got in contact with a man of God, filled with the anointing. You know, those days as a young child of God, I revered him so much because of the grace, because of the oil of God that was operational in his life. It was one of the first times I, I saw the operations of the Spirit. It was one of the first times I saw word of knowledge, word of wisdom in action. I toured around with him in most of the eastern states, leading worship and praise before he ministers until a day came. You know, child of God hearing me, do not be deceived by the charismatic happenings around the man of God. You need to check. That's what the Bible says in the book of Timothy. It says, test all spirits. For in the last days, a lot of people will come up saying that they are working for the Lord Jesus when most of them are apostles of Satan. Now listen to me. I'm not saying they are not, they are not original. They are no original preachers. I'm not saying that there are not people who preach the gospel with sincerity who are real. But in every genuine product, even man himself has been able to create the fake of a genuine product. Am I talking to somebody? Okay. Until I got an information that this man of God had a problem of immorality. He couldn't control himself when he's with some women, thereby sleeping with them. But the shocking truth I want to bring out in this message is that this man of God, even after sleeping with these sisters or daughters of Jezebel, he still comes to the altar and shouts, Thou power of God, move! And men and women will be on the ground, slain in the spirit. Child of God, be careful who lays hands on you. Be careful who lays his hands on you to pray for you. That is why so many people have received strange spirits. Because just like in the scriptures, Moses, the prophet of God, was able to detect that there is something called strange fire. When a true prophet of God is praying for you, the original fire that comes from the eternal sacred place of the Lord Jesus that comes and finds from the embers of God those fire that kind of fire that kind of fire when it comes upon you it comes to dislodge the works of darkness in your life and that is why people shout the fire of the Holy Ghost because that fire is the fire that comes from the eternal place of God. But there is another kind of fire. Hear me, child of God. There is another kind of fire. That was the kind of fire that Korah, Datan, and Abiram found before God. And God called it strange fire. So many strange fires are operational right now in the world. So many strange fires are being fanned from different quarters. The north, the east, the west, the south. All over Nigeria, all over the world. Sons of Belial are fanning strange fire. And so, child of God, you need to be careful who lays hands on you. For who lays hands on you automatically transfers. They transfer, they transfer. And whatever they transfer will have an effect over your life, whether you like it or not, 
whether you care to believe it or not, whatever is transferred into your life will begin to work in you positively or negatively. Today, this man of God, I have not heard about him again in so many years. But he was a vivid and clear example of how a man of God can be living in sin and yet operating in the spirit. Let it not shock you, for God is not mocked. How can you as a child of God be able to discern which of these spirits is real? Which of this fire is not strange fire? It is lost in this age. My generation is a generation that has lost focus, that has left pursuing the main thing. And they are pursuing after the glory of men, pursuing and seeking titles and relevance, and forgetting the one who can give you credence before men, the one who can take you far, farther than you ever get to as a normal human being. Listen to me, child of God, hearing my voice today. The heart cry of God is that his children will come back to him and get their batteries, their spiritual batteries charged. The heartbeat of God is that his children will begin to tap into the immense power, the immense authority that heaven has as at his disposal. There's so much that God is willing to offer. But how many people are willing to pay the price to get that which God wants to give them? Believers can charge their physical phones and their batteries. And their spiritual and their physical batteries are 100%. While their spiritual lives are at zero. It is a thing that troubles heaven. And that is why this message is coming your way today. You need to charge your spiritual battery. And the only place you charge your spiritual battery is in the place of prayer. The place of prayer is the only place where you can plug in into the electricity of heaven and get charged by the Holy Spirit. You have koinonia with the Spirit and your battery is charged. And then when your battery is charged with the kind of language those kind of languages begin to pump you, elevate you into an eternal place, a place where mere mortals cannot go to except you are connected in the spirit. Child of God, when last did you have koinonia with the spirit? When last did you take time? to pray and heaven comes down to commune with you it is what you are missing and the lord jesus wants you to have that communion with him until you begin to have koinonia with the spirit you can never carry what the spirit has to offer it is not about titles you are pursuing titles it's not about being a reverend or or, or an apostle or a prophet it is all about entitlements what have you been able to put up before god to get the entitlements that will usher you into a realm of power and a realm of miracles i declare as many that are hearing me today receive 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 understanding just like the sons of Issachar to be able to ask the Lord for the spirit of discernment because that is what you need you need it in this time or else you are lost as a child of God you need the spirit of discernment or else you'll be lost I pray the Lord gives you understanding Lion of Judah Agune Chemba Yeshua 
Hamashiach, Lion of Judah, Agunetimbah.